Resurrection Chalice! <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Signed the level lord. <laughs> that was one of, one of my favorite parts in Scourge Done Slick was uh, the level lord homage. Like, uh, like uh, the Quake Done Quick guys all like, I'm not supposed to do this. And then he does a crazy rocket jump, uh, which uh, causes us to quote, uh, The level lord is in Anyways, uh, this guy here is a weapon stealer. He's, he sells a whole lot of stuff. Med kits, uh, inventory items, uh, even maximum HP AP bonuses and attack defense bonuses and other bonuses. Give uh, Duke some attack bonuses and uh, ammunition. Get a few vitamin X's and jet packs as well. Now, uh, I'm going to see what other characters need uh, ammo for the RPG. Jack Walker. Now, uh, Bubsy Bobcat. Oh yeah, and uh, Ami Mizuno has more than enough RPG missiles to last her a while. Whoa, Wang. Lisa Bates. Christina Mitchell. Now, uh, call a pole star. Uh, Earthbound fans are wondering why uh, Paula is using uh, weapons instead of her psychic powers. Again, uh, this is an early version, and uh, characters don't have their unique abilities yet. I'm done shopping, so it's back to Jack, and uh, and I want to see. Uh, yep, uh, four out of seven secrets. Now there is one real good secret uh, that I've been notified about, uh, and it's right near the end. Uh, uh, I mean, right near the entrance to the Battle Lord's uh, ship. Hey, uh, you really like to dodge, uh, do you? Like you're a Dragon Ball character, you phase out just to avoid an attack, then uh, you phase in just to try and uh, pull a fast one. Who do you think you are, Raleigh? Of course, uh, I haven't encountered anyone uh, in this game that I could consider the Raleigh of uh, this mod. <sighs> Besides uh, any delete versions of the bosses. <sighs> Anyways, uh, one thing I'd like to... Uh, I'm going to show an easter egg off, uh, like, a uh, Dope Fish Lives. That is a reference to Dope Fish. That is known uh, to be the second dumbest creature in the universe. Dope Fish's swim patterns are swim, swim, hungry. And they'll prefer to eat, and they'll eat anything, uh, although they prefer to eat heroes. Uh, yes. They like to eat heroes. So if, if you're a hero, do not swim in dope fish infested waters. You're just gonna get the... Uh... Whoa! Whoa! -ho! That was a close one! That Octobrain was close to that Icon of Defender, but uh, being stupid enough, uh, he didn't grab it. I'm lucky, actually. Huh. Whoa, and I got another uh, equipable. The money badge. Aha! This is the secret I wanted to know about. Or actually, I already knew about it. And, uh, oh, you know what? I'm not using Jack Walker here, because uh, the Battle Lord is going to be uh, no challenge now. Anyways, I'll demonstrate the equipment here. Since I'm playing on skill 6, I can equip uh, two items. I'm going to equip them now. This is the mirror shield. It cuts damage in half and it deflects uh, the other half to the enemy that attacked uh, Duke. And the other one is the money badge. But uh, I'm going to save it uh, for next time. 
uh, switch back to a uh, character select because uh, I don't want to be caught with my pants down uh, having to uh, switch back to character select uh, every time. Yeah, so uh, Duke's gonna only take half the punishment because uh, the Battle Lord here is going to be dealing punishment to itself. Half of it, in fact. Grab all the stuff here. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew there was a uh, chain gun cannon ammo. Now, I've been warned not to step directly on the floor here. Uh, who needs a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> huh, that's the only enemy that spawned in? Huh, that's a relief. I thought it was one of those uh, harder enemies like that uh, laser enforcer. Anyways, now, uh, I do not want this uh, battle lord to take uh, any health items, so uh, I'm going to steal them from him. Fortunately, uh, there's apparently, uh, not as much health, uh, to count as 200% uh, after a level up to a character that, uh, it's okay to, uh, for them to pick up the 50% health item. Deathstroke Missile Primed, and I'm gonna activate the Vitamin X pretty soon. I don't know, Duke. Who is the Battle Lord's Plastic Surgeon? Oh dear, this looks like a real nasty battle lord here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! You know what? Uh, I'm not letting Duke die here now. And he's down! After wiping the blood and brains from their boots, Duke and Co. explored the alien ship. Monitors showed a titanic alien ship hovering above Earth, with dozens of smaller ships dropping off green cocoon-like pods. One showed a cocoon up close. They all held women, still alive. Duke glowers in the pale green monitor light. Jack, Amy, Minako, Lisa, Paula, and others which the serious cackle demon have yet to use were also not too happy what the aliens were doing. Duke set the auto-destruct sequence on the ship, and before everyone left, Duke takes one more look at the screen Nearing out the following words. Nobody steals our chicks and lives. And that's it. Episode 1 of Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition is done. Next part of Nafir's Reign Invasion of the Dark Mistress talk through, we start the second episode of Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. Lunar Apocalypse. I'll see you till then, everyone. Have a good day. This is the Series Caco Demon, signing off.